Good morning, I'm Jenny Buckman, and today is day 28 of our 40-day fast. I had the opportunity to attend a training in the fall where the scripture that was highlighted for the training was from John 9, 4, that reads, we must do the work of the one who sent me so long as it is day, night is coming when no one can work. Now, Jesus said these words to his disciples when he knew that he would not have much more time to physically be on this earth to share and do what the Father had told him to do. And this really should be a pattern and theme for all of us in this day. None of us are guaranteed tomorrow or another opportunity to be in the presence of those who really need to hear the life-changing good news and saving grace of Jesus Christ. And I believe all of us have missed opportunities to share with the not yet Christians, a term I like to use, the not yet Christians about Jesus and to share the testimony of how he has truly changed our lives. We currently live in a world that's becoming increasingly intolerant, rejecting and even hostile sometimes to the message of Jesus, the night, so to speak. But we also live in a world where people are exhibiting a spiritual hunger and they truly are hungering after spiritual things. They want to know truth. And it's our responsibility as believers to share this hope while it's yet day, while we have the freedom and to speak and while we have the breath in our bodies. Today is the daytime of freedom and opportunity but the nighttime of harassment and persecution might not be far off. Also hope, that word hope, it, it's truly something that all of us need to keep alive in us. And I know many intercessors are almost becoming weary of praying and praying and seemingly to get no answers to their prayers for years and years, but hope must be tied to faith to battle this weariness. And we must have a patient urgency in this. We must continue to seek him and not give up. Continue to seek Jesus, not give up. Be faithful in our own private, quiet times before the Lord, praying, reading the word, worshiping him. And we must go. We must go in obedience as we ask the Holy Spirit to use us every day. Every day is an opportunity to use us every day, everywhere, in with anyone he puts in our path and to share that truth and love. So again, John 9, 4, we must do the work of the one who sent me. So long as it is day, night is coming when no one can work. Another kind of a way to put it is, you know, let's make hay while the sun still shines. So let me pray with you. Lord, I just thank you. God, for every person watching this, and I pray today, Lord, would be an opportunity for all of us to share your life-changing good news with whoever you put in our path, Lord. We just hunger and thirst for you. We want to know you more. And just help us to be have hope as we go in obedience to what we believe you're calling us to do. In Jesus' name, amen.